Well, thanks for coming back. And you know, to say that the future is bright is a gross understatement for our next guests because we are absolutely thrilled to welcome, to introduce to all of you, the new principal of, of Humble High School, Donna Ulrich. Donna, welcome. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. And you know, Donna, while you are the new chief wildcat, <laughs> there is a higher authority where wildcats are concerned. So we're thrilled to have Robert Sitton, our board president. Glad to be here. Um, love the purple tie. Oh, yes, absolutely. And you know, Robert, and we'll get into this in just a second, but Robert is a third generation Humble High School graduate? Second. Second generation. It's all right, we're getting close to the third. Yeah. <laughs> but, I have a son that graduated from Humble, so we do have three generations of graduates. Awesome, that is so awesome. Well, Don, I want to start with you. Okay. And, and I mean this very, very sincerely. So in a very few short weeks um, that you've been at, at Humble High School, there is a very noticeable sense of enthusiasm, of anticipation among kids, among faculty, among parents. So tell us, what are you doing <laughs> and, and what's ahead? So we have been meeting with groups of students for the last month, and that's been very exciting. So student council and honor society and all the athletic organizations and getting feedback from the kids about what they want to see at Humble High School as far as pride and spirit, it's about being a wildcat. And so that's been fun and meeting with parents and that's been at baseball games and softball games and soccer games and sitting in the stands just seeing their excitement for what their students are doing at Humble High School and hearing their feedback about what we need to look forward to next year. Yeah, that is so great. And I had to I really should share with everyone you're going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I mean, you really are. And that's from afar I can see that. It's fun. It's fun. Well, and you hit on a good point. You had mentioned the word spirit. And in my experience of, of not only doing the show and growing up in this area, um, really one thing you can tell are Humble High School graduates are exceptionally spirited and proud of their school, proud of their community. It, you know, it's amazing. Um, Robert, you had just talked about your second generation, your son's the third generation. What is it about Humble High School that inspires this type of spirit? Yeah, that's where it all started. You know, back back in the beginning. I mean, we talk we talk a lot about. We've done it on this show. We've talked about uh, you know um, the fact that you know Dr. Sconzo's retiring, and and we've only had um, uh, four superintendents. You know, in the last forty three years, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Well. You know, Humble High School, um, we Humble ISD, but Humble High School, as the namesake, is over 100 years old. And we've never lost that sense of history, that sense of culture. And, you know, I talk a lot around the, the community at the different high schools, and, and I've given interviews about, you know, what makes Humble ISD special. And I think it has a lot to do with, even with all the fast growth, our high schools have maintained that sense of history and culture for the communities they serve. So we still have that small town feel. And the only high school that we have that has a, uh, well, I guess Kingwood, the two Kingwood schools now have the city of Houston, but they don't really identify with the city of Houston. But Humble High School can identify with the municipality of the city of Humble. Well, and, and, and Robert, you're so right. I mean, the, the history is so rich and there is such a tradition um, all beginning with Humble High School. I mean, I, I refer to it often as the grandfather of the district. I mean, it, it really is the beginning. Mm -hmm. So Donna, um, share with everyone, because I know there's a personal connection you have to Absolutely. Humble High School as Absolutely. well. So to begin, I'll go back to the flagship school because that's what Humble High School is. And I had the opportunity a few weeks ago to meet with the Humble High School Alumni Association, which in this area is one of the most deep-seated alumni associations in the greater Houston area and uh, have events on a regular basis and that leads me to my husband is a graduate of Humble High School so he's a 1981 Wildcat and both of his brothers graduated from Humble High School and we've been in this community since 1977 so very deep-seated roots um, in the Humble Independent School District. So how does it feel, Donna, to be, to be in the chair now? I mean, you, you're, you're going to orchestrate, and I'm thrilled about it, but you're going to orchestrate the future of Humble High School. It's an honor. Um, I consider the principalship a place to serve, 
and serving the students of Humble High School, st serving the school Humble High School is um, going to be fun. And I'm excited awesome. for the students, I'm excited for the parents and the community, and for the whole of this school district, because as the flagship, it should be the leader, and that's where we're going to be. Well, your excitement is contagious, and we love it. We Thank absolutely you. love it. Thank absolutely, you. absolutely. So uh, you guys talked about the, uh, you know, the alumni organization, very big in this area. Just want to hit quickly. You guys have a pretty big event every summer that you guys do. Robert, can you tell us a little bit about it's, that? It's the, uh, it's the second Saturday of June every year. And it's gone on continuously. I may get this number wrong, so um, um, Alan Griffin, if you're watching this, you know, <laughs> call me later and yell at me. But I think it's 83 consecutive years. It really is an amazing thing. It really, and I and I can say authoritatively that the Humble High School Alumni Association and that event in particular is the only one of its kind in the country as far as high school alumni associations are concerned. I mean, it really is amazing. So we're gonna to have to wrap it up, but I, but I really just wanna to say to you, um, thank you. Um, in such a short period of time, uh, you're making the kind of mark we all want made uh, at Humble High School and for Humble High School. So already you're living proof that sometimes we can make some pretty good decisions. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank right. you very much for the opportunity. So officially congratulations on camera and uh, we're really looking forward to tomorrow. Robert, thank you so much for being with us. You I, bet. The, the community has no clue the hours and the energy that you um, you put into our district and our community and, and it makes a difference Robert so thank you thank you very thank much you. and stay with Carrie and I we're gonna come right back with a really interesting story <laughs>